We've learned the bones of multiple people have been unearthed at two construction sites on Jacksonville's north side. Crews initially unearthed remains, including a skull, Tuesday when a bulldozer pushed through a pile of dirt being used to build up this new overpass ramp at I-295 and Main Street. Then yesterday, police say more bones were found at a fill dirt site for the construction project three miles away on Eastport Road. News 4 Jacks reporters Eric Gavinier and Kristen Cosby are working to unravel this mystery. We begin, though, with Kristen. Yes, Joy, investigators tell us that the bones found at this construction site behind me might be part of an old cemetery, but it is simply too early to tell. Dozens of officers sifted through tons of dirt looking for additional human remains. They shut the site down. We begin to bucket by bucket of dirt sift through what they what they had pushed up there. So we go through it um, one five gallon bucket at a time. Construction crews putting in a new ramp at I-295 and Main Street discovered the bones and a skull Tuesday. The bones originated from a filled dirt site three miles to the north off Eastport Road. Detectives searched that site as well. They tell us they found the remains of at least one other person there. The tedious work will take about another week. Each time remains are found, the search area widens. And detectives also tell us it's too early to tell the age of those bones. We will tell you that News for, J for Jax received a picture of some of those bones. They're too graphic to show on TV, but I can tell you that they appear severely decayed. Reporting live in Ocean Way, Kristen Cosby, Channel 4, the local station. Thank you, Krista. Now, News for Jax reporter Eric Avigny has been looking through old property records. And he joins us live from outside the construction site with a different perspective on why these bones may have been buried. Eric. Yes, well, we know initially investigators believe that the bones were at least decades old. So in that case, after we learned that, uh, we went to the Duval County Property Appraiser's Office, Jerry Holland, uh, to learn a little bit more about this land, this F dot site, because this is where the uh, bones were dug up and carried off to another location. Now. It could go back even further. Uh, a lot of people in this area use prison labor, and many times it was such a way that when the prisoners died, they buried them on the site. And it could go back even further to slave labor, you know, but really it will matter the most when they find more additional information. Some remains uh, that may identify a grave site, that may identify grave markings, that will help date it. And that's, uh, that will really help us determine, you know, should it have been marked as a family plot? Right now, it's too early to tell how long those bones have been there and where they came from, let alone what decade or century. Of course, we're going to have more on this perspective coming up later tonight. Reporting live from the north side, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.